We just spotted here a bush baby, as you can see, right up in the tree. He's enjoying his life there. It's one of the creatures that really have very wide eyes, more around. And really catching them on the light, driving here, they're giving more red flames. You may assume it could be a big animal if you see them from the distance. The way, I mean, the eyes, they really uh, get to shine. It's one of our primates, the smallest primate we have in the area. Actually, the, yeah, this is the, the lesser bush baby, is the smallest one. The second one is another type of the bush baby that we have here. It is more soft of our area, of our nature park itself, which is called thick tail bush baby. Uh, very similar in looking, but it's only size. A thick tail bush baby, the tail is a lot more thick and really similar with um, the white tail mongoose. How the tail is getting to fluffy. It's more fluffy tail. So this is one of the species that really has been recorded that they can travel at least one kilometer jumping tree to tree, especially when it comes to dominance display. A male can cover such a big area like that, one kilometer traveling to tree, set marking around, giving vocalization, let the members of uh, bush baby, more especially other mouths that I'm in the area, you know, that all these domin and all these I mean, area, animals that have uh, area of operation, territorial space, and it means that the same species of the same gender is not allowed to be in the same area of a dominant mouth. So really, it's a fight. It will create a fight once the other one enters the area. You find these creatures, they might control over 15 to 20, or well, sometimes it depends how active it is when it comes to sexual activity. It can mate with a dirty female around his spot. Some behavior of monkey, baboons, and the others. This, tree, this animal here really, you tend to see going for tree gum quite a lot. Even the insect, they really like the insect quite a lot. If you look at the way this animal, the body structure, when it comes to, I mean, the feet that they have, the hind legs is a lot more long. In order to give an animal an advantage of jumping tree to tree, which the front, I mean, feet or hand, a lot more shorter. And also, this animal, you may get to see them, I mean, moving on the ground. The way they move, it looks like a kangaroo. The hind legs are always in ground. The front one, they're always not touching the ground. It's just jumping like a kangaroo move. 
on the ground. It really is one of the animals in the area you get to see it is more common but a certain time of the year which is summer and it's the reason that because it's quite a lot of I mean insect that does a moving quite a lot in the area so she's hunting quite a lot of insect at this time of the year and it makes its animal more active as you can see even quite a lot of uh, dominant display we're gonna see quite a lot now this time of the, the year it was really a lot more active and healthy. Let's carry on. The animal have jumped away to the next tree.